Natasha from Makeup and SFC. Welcome back to my channel. Today you've clicked this video because you want to see a haul, my friends. So I went to the makeup show in San Francisco. It is a pop-up shop compared to the other trade shows. It's more just for pros, so this is open to the public. And this is my second year going, and I loved the first one, so I decided to go to this one. And they had an amazing, actually, really good deal on Groupon. So a bunch of us decided to go, um, a bunch of Ipsy members and my cousin. So if you're interested to see what I got, then please keep on watching. This is gonna be a long one, so you might want a snack. I usually have a snack, but I'm gonna power through this and not eat until I'm done. So let's do this. If you don't know what the makeup show is, it is a trade show for professional makeup artists. Sorry, my phone's on loud. So looking on the website, just to remind myself, they have one in Dallas, Chicago, Orlando, New York, LA, San Francisco. And so that's the one that I went to. They also have one in Atlanta that just passed. And the great thing about it is that the two makeup shows that are in Atlanta and San Francisco actually are open to the public. So I'm not a makeup artist. If you're new to my channel, then you don't know that I am a preschool teacher. So I just love playing with makeup. From what I notice in these events, it's a really great social time because everybody who has worked in the industry loves to see each other and they love to like reconnect and see how everyone's doing because everybody's in one place. Um, for this particular show, the San Francisco one, they bring out a lot of brands that are based in the Bay Area, so it's a really good opportunity for us to see those brands and to shop and swatch and get to see them in person, especially if you only see them online. I also worked on the second day at the NYX booth, so that was a great experience for me just to see, you know, the other side of these trade show events, like seeing all the people that work at them and, you know, the camaraderie that they have and it was just, it was really nice. So thank you to NYX for inviting me to work at the event. And I look forward to working with them again because Marjorie and Hannah, like they were awesome. The girls that I worked with, they were all from the Bay. And most of them are makeup artists. So it was really cool to hear their insight on the business and like what they do and what they like to shop for. So it was really fun for me. So the first booth that I visited because it was actually right in front was Crown Brushes. Now I've bought some Crown Brushes in the past the reason why I even bought these brushes is because I feel like they're the same quality as Morphe and it's not that I need these brushes by any means, but I just, I didn't want to put in an order. They were already at the show, so I wanted to get some brushes that I had been looking at. And so I got this C310 Deluxe Soft Fan. It's going to be for highlighting. I really like fan brushes. My favorite ones are from e.l.f., but they only come in a 11-pack set. I don't have all the prices, but I will list the website down below so that you can look at them on your own. I got this one because it is fat. It's called the C309 Jumbo Chisel Powder, and it kind of looks like a MAC brush I can't remember it off the top of my head right now, but it's great for contouring. It has this really nice dome shape where it's fat on the sides and kind of tapers right here. So when you're chiseling the cheekbone, it has the flexibility of the blending part, but it really gets it in there when you're trying to chisel out this portion of your cheek. It's very soft. And for the price, I think it was like 15, it's half of the MAC brush. So I'm very happy that I got that one. So I got the C221. It is the metal eyelash definer. Um, the Real Techniques brand has a comb to uh, comb out the lashes that is just like this because of the metal and how thin it is. It's really good at separating the lashes when you've gotten the clumped up. So depending on what kind of look I'm going for, if it's clumpy and I'm into it, then I'll do it. But if I want to separate them, I like these like little toothbrush um, combs to just get that detail work in. This is a lash brush. This is, it doesn't have a number actually, but it is a tiny lash brush. This is how big it is. I think the process is you get like whatever pigment and you like wave it into the lashes. So I'm interested to try this. I'll have to look it up on how to properly use it, but I was just really fascinated by it. The next booth that I went to, it was one of the most fun booths. So my cousin and I revisited the booth because we heard their music first and I was like, oh my God, that's Glow Girl. And so I wanted to go check them out. And so I came up to the booth and they had like these crazy cool colors in their lipsticks and I thought it was just really fun. One of the shades is called 
thoughtless. But I don't always know the hip lingo, okay? I'm like the last one to the party. A thought, like one that you think, and they're like, no. I figured out it was like scuba. So thought, T-H-O-T, stands for something. That's all I'm going to tell you because this is a uh, rated G zone. So if you want to look that up, that's on you. But I learned what thought is that day, which is a really great color. But anyway, not one of the colors I got. So this is the packaging. It's really cute. It is gold. It's a little lighter than expected, but um, it has the little brand right there. It says Glow Cosmetics. I don't know if you can see. My lights are pretty bright. But I got the shade Blue Balls. Oh, yeah. I got the shade Blue Balls. We're going to try this. Oh, my God. I'm, like, freezing. I have little goosey bumps. Oh, that was a fail. So that's Blue Balls. This one's beautiful. This is Blue Magic. I got the shade Quiet Storm. This one is Blue Balls. This one is Blue Magic. And this is Quiet Storm. These, these colors actually mix really nicely together and that's what sold me. This right here is Blue Magic. Right above that is Quiet Storm. When you mix them together, you kind of get this really cool teal shade in the middle. It's bomb. All right, now that we're figuring the shit out, let's go to the other side. So this one's called Camel Toe. So my cousin and I both got that shade. It's so pretty. It's like a taupe brown. You guys know how much I like those right now. I think it'd be the perfect color for fall every day. It is just butter. This shade is on my lips and this is called Drama Free. This is hella cute. It is like a peach orange color. So pretty. I want to call it coral, but it's just a little bit more on the warm side. And it's so perfect for fall. Like, hello. The most flattering color. Yeah. So those are the colors right there. Nice little range. I tried to get colors that I just didn't have. So there you go. For this makeup show, I really just wanted to reconnect with some of the brands that I had seen last year. So I wanted to hit up Rocky Cosetti. He is a brilliant makeup artist who's just so magnetic. Like when you talk to him, he, he's just all about the artistry. He wants to be creative. He wants to, you know, be innovative. And it, it makes you want to do all this kind of stuff. You're like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm so into that. I want to do that. I want to do what you're doing. He is just like a bright light. So when you talk to him, you feel his soul, if that makes sense. So I went to go see him and I was such a geek. So last year I bought one makeup brush from him and it is the Cosette S125. You've seen this in my video. So I'm like, Rocky, can you please sign my brush? <laughs> so he tells me, he goes, honey, you are literally the second person to ever ask me in all of the years that I've been doing this. He goes, I can give you a hug instead. I think that's more long lasting. And I was like, well, I'll take both. <laughs> so it's really cute. He put all my love, Rocky Cosetti. It's just like, I know it's not going to last, but I, I just really wanted to show him that I appreciated it. So my little geek moment. So anyway, so I saw that there are these new eyeshadows and so I was talking to him about it. I was like, okay, what are your favorite shades? He goes, well, they're all my favorite shades. And I'm like, okay, I'm on a budget. And so, <laughs> so we narrowed it down to six and I wanted to get colors that I thought were going to be versatile and were going to be different from whatever I had going on like in my collection because I have a lot of eyeshadow. And so for me, I really wanted to get things that I didn't have. So these are the shades right here. I put them in a uh, Z palette from Sephora. So they come in pro pans. They are cruelty free and vegan. Um, so all of these products, they're just, they don't harm nature and the animals. So I'm into that. I'm not fully vegan in everything that I use, but I do appreciate when brands do that. This color right here is called Prince. And it was the first color that he showed me and he told me, I kid you not, I named this color Prince and the day after he passed away. And I was like, oh my God, that's so heartbreaking. And he was like, he was one of the main influencers in my life. And so I really wanted to name it that color. So I had to get that one. And so that's the purple right there. I don't do swatches, but I feel like I have to show you. So there it is right there. It's like an electric purple. Um, it's very smooth, very creamy. So this one's called Allure. And he, what he told me was he loves putting it on the knuckles so that you can really see the dimension and the highlight and everything. 
So if you can see my knuckle, it's like shimmering because I put it right on there. So he was like, you'll be able to see it on all sides. And there's prints right there. The next shade is so cool. This is called Shift. Like it leans purple and then it leans like this indigo and then it has like a gold overlay and it's just magical. I actually have a Maybelline um, color tattoo that was limited edition that is this exact shade. So I wanna put it over top. I wanna put this all over the lid. I wanna use it as a highlight shade on my cheekbones. So again, that's Allure, Prince, and this is Shift. Did you know that I wrote a book? <laughs> and I said, no way. I was like, why didn't you bring it? Like you should be showing people. And he goes, it's not about me today. He goes, but this is the color you don't have. This is called Gratitude because his book has the name Gratitude in it. I will link his book down below because I actually want to buy it too. He just seems like a very positive person. And so that is the blue right there. It is a matte shade, very creamy, very pigmented. When you blend it out, it is just the most beautiful haze of blue. And it looks like it has a silver sheen to it almost. It's like a cloud. It just looks like a blue cloud. So this one's called Evolve. Now I got this when I went back to the booth because I'm an idiot and I wanted to go back. Um, and this is like the most beautiful shimmer magenta red. Like I want to wear this at Christmas time and just... Yeah. So in some light it leans pink and it looks really hot. Um, I think one of the artists had it on her lids and so I was like, yep, I want that one. And then this color is kind of like a game changer. This is called Mica. And so this color, you can wear it on its own. And it is chunky because the trick to it is it's like a topper. You put it on top of any of the color, it just transforms it. So there it is on its own right there and it's super metallic and, and um, glittery. So this is Gratitude. This is Evolve. And then this is Mica. So let me show you what Mica can do. So I'm gonna put Mica over Evolve. So now, not only does Evolve have that red base, but now that silver overlay just makes it look like super cosmic and metallic. There's prints at the top, so it completely transforms it. Now it just looks like space galactic purple. So the other thing I got from Cosette is the S185. This is a really, really, really tiny blending brush. I don't have anything like it in my collection, so I wanted to get it. Um, and I love the handles on his brushes, like they're purple. It's my favorite color. And so Janessa Myricks is also a makeup artist. She's worked a long time in the business, and so she has a makeup brand. And the makeup brand centers right now on, it looks like a lot of pigments and highlights and just the dimension of the skin. So I got two metals. And so these metals are right here. Now, I don't remember his name, but I will find his Instagram and I'll link it down below. But Sweetie Pie helped me so much trying to figure out what pigment I wanted. He was uh, swatching it on my friend Maddie and I'm just like, mm -mm, me too. Me. So that is the most beautiful pigment that you will ever own. And it's actually a very big, generous jar. Like you will not need this. This is in the shade Dr Dr This is in the shade Daydreaming. And it just packs a punch. I mean, look at that, like that all over the lid. It has purple and blue shimmer in this. And it has a white base, a silvery base, and it's just like pixie dust. It's pixie dust for your face. So the pigment, you, what he said was they have a gel activate. It could be a liquid sort of like substance, and then it sets. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> So this one is more of a green. Now it's more of like a forest green than some of the other greens that you've seen. Um, so there it is right there. My cousin Maddie and I went in on a deal where the promo for the show was four highlighters and um, for a fixed price. So these are the Enlight highlighters and so they come in a little sifter and the sifter twists like this and it's just Stunning. So there it is on my pinky right there. Like as you can see, it just gives off a beautiful sheen. It's not a glitter. 
and it just radiates like the luminosity radiates from this highlighter this is in the shade passion so i'm actually wearing this on my cheeks today i put it on top of the becca amaretto lightly swatched it looks a little bit like a not a copper penny but it looks like a deeper rose gold like i think this would be amazing for deeper skin tones but on me it looks like a really nice like orangey reddish blush um, and then concentrated, it looks like a copper color. Okay, so I went to Ricky's. And Ricky's always has like a really cool Instagram. They carry almost everything that you could carry. So I got the Colored Rain Matte Lip Paint in the shade Marshmallow. So it's more of a pinkish taupe. So I'll let this dry and then I'll show you again in a few minutes. Okay, so I went to Friends who gave us this huge beautiful bag thank goodness because i had a lot of stuff so i got the brow definer from anastasia i got it in the shade medium brown i'm probably not going to use it right away because i'm still going through some brow products but i wanted to try it because it was discounted i also got the dip brow in ebony so that's that right there super boring i wanted to get it because it was a little more cool tone than dark brown so i'm going to try that i really do like the dip brow i have a video of like i think it's my first brow video so i'll link that down below where i showed how to use dip brow this is my holy grail eyebrow brush and it is the delium tool 792 and so i got two of those and it is just a small angled brush like the tiniest you will ever see it's like that big super super tiny so i love this brush so much they're five dollars each so you know i had to get some i went to graftobian and graftobian is a really cool like makeup brand where they just can manipulate different kinds of mediums in the most spectacular way i got this little set because it was a promo deal this is the magic set it's a mixing and lining liquid so what the artist said is you mix one part to two parts so that's the color right there. It's like a beautiful gold. So this is the pigment dry. That one right there. And when you put the mixing medium in it, it is like magic. It's a liquid gold. It sets and you can use it on clients. Like if you're a makeup artist, you can use it all over bodies. Like I think this can cover a whole body. So if you follow my Instagram, then you know that I posted up a lipstick color that was in the shade No Explanation. It's from um, AJ Crimson. I love that color. I got it at the makeup show last year. I had like wanted to buy the foundation, but I didn't get it last time. So this time I wanted to get it. It was actually one of the only things that was on my list. So I talked to one of the artists and she was like, you know, these foundation palettes are great because you get two in one. You can mix and match the shade so that it, you know, it highlights, it contours it blends in with your skin and she's like i work in las vegas i put my makeup on the plane and i didn't set it and that's the most appealing part to me the fact that she didn't set it with a powder she's like you totally can but you don't have to and then she also told me that she didn't prime and i was like that's insane i am so oily that i always need to put primer powder to set everything but this is like some of that amazing 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 magical stuff so i'm definitely going to try this and report back to you maybe do a first impressions to see if it's really what it says but mm -hmm. it's really pretty so this is 1.3 and this is three so mixing them together should be like the best shades the girls that work the ardell booth are just the sweetest people you will ever meet i will list their instagrams below so i know jade because i've met her at different um trade shows and then i recently met corky so corky's so sweet she has like the cutest relationship with her daughter they are always wearing really cute clothes and their instagram is just awesome the time i had gone to the booth was on saturday and so i visited the girls and i went there with my cousin so we were shopping so we got some lashes i got the duo glue this is the dark tone brush on one the difference between the studio effects and the regular one is that they're fuller in the middle so it has that really like round open eyed look so i love these because they look so fluttery and just okay these are the glamour these are the 122s i've never tried these before but i'm interested to see what they look like these are the wispy 600s so i've been wearing these non-stop i wish i had gotten more at least i know what style they are now so i can go get some so these are the 113s that i was talking about i really like these a lot 
these are the ones that I wear like when I do tutorials. Then I worked at the NYX booth the next day. And so when we were cleaning up, we were packing up the booth, the girls from Ardell came over and they're like, hey, we have extra lashes. We wanted to give them to you guys. We're like, thank you so much. The Demi Pixies. This isn't like a style that I would usually go for, but I'm interested to see what they would look like on my eye. These are the Ardell Duralash. They're the knotted flares, so they come in bunches of threes. So these are really good if you want to customize what kind of lash look you want. Like if you wanted them more fuller in the outer corner, if you just wanted them in the center, it depends on what you want to do. Thanks Ardell. Thank you Jade. Thank you Corky. So so kind. The last booth that I visited on Saturday was the Best MA booth. How cute is this bag? Okay, so it has this long strap. I think it's going to be perfect for my work. And it has the cutest little like lipstick pattern. Oh, I love it. And it's actually a very nice bag for $5. It's cushioned, so very pretty. So I got the shade Caramel in this lip gloss because it was $5. It's right there. It looks like a brownish pink nude has a nice sheen to it. And there is Marshmallow actually now matted down. So it's comfortable on the lips. Um, this one's sticky, but this one's comfortable. So then working the NYX booth, got a little gift bag. My first NYX brush, so thank you. So I got the color correcting shade primer. Um, no, this is peach, and then this one is pink. So this one is more for luminosity for dull skin. And then this is for Mm, a healthy glow, restoring a healthy glow. This, this is a intense butter gloss in the shade Orange Sickle. They must have known I was gonna get this color because I love orange. And then I got this blush in the shade Glow. I think this is one of their HD blushes. Oh, like if you get the contour palette, they have a banana shade in that one. Um, but these are the ones where you can buy individuals. I do like it because it's compact, so that would be good to like travel with if I wanted to use something to set the under eye. But yeah, that is my haul, guys. We did. We did. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to comment, share, like down below, subscribe if you haven't done that. If you like what I did, I'm a really cool person. Can you tell already? No. That's okay. I accept that. <sighs> I'm exhausted. I'm going to have some dinner. And I'll see you in my next video. Toodles. Turn off data. Let's make sure we don't get dirty. Damn it. Oh, look what I just did. I made my hand cosmic. This is pretty much what the makeup show day was like. I just had a sheen all over my body. I have farted so much in this video. I hope my talking covers it. <laughs> Stop slouching. <laughs> hey guys, time to go find a home. You live with me now. I know I'm weird, get over it.